that's a fake sneeze. All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome to another installment of that thing. That thing. Moment. Okay. Chapter 4. Aliens. That same day after school, Harris sat at the desk in his room. He was trying to do his homework, but all he could think about was a strange new kid in his class. He decided to call Roxy. What did you think of the new kid, Zeke? Harris asked when Ro Roxy picked up the phone. He was nice, she replied. He was weird, said Harris. Just because someone is different doesn't mean they're weird, Roxy pointed out. Harris thought about that for his moment. He wasn't sure what to think of Zeke. But I, I know, but still, I think there's something off about him. Anyway, I have to finish my homework, Harris said. See you tomorrow. When his homework was done, Harris opened the latest issue of his favorite comic book, Tales from Alien Worlds. He flopped open, flopped into onto his bed and opened it. He saw alien spaceships zooming through the air. They passed the tall orange towers that glowed. What a cool alien world this is! Harris thought. Tales from the Alien Worlds. I might start doing that so you can see the pictures. He flipped through the page. There was a picture of an alien with his eyes shut tight. The alien's fingertips pressed against his head in front of the in front of the alien world wor in front of the alien. Words appeared on a giant screen. That's how Ze Zeke wrote on his tablet. This is too weird. Harris finished the comic. He looked out the window at Zeke's house. Why is it always dark over there? He got ready for bed but couldn't stop thinking about Zeke. The next day at school, Harris found Roxy at recess. She had a soccer ball at her feet. Roxy and Harris were both on the Jefferson Elementary School soccer team. Let's practice, she said. Roxy kicked the ball across the playground. Harris chased it down and kicked it back. Roxy next... Ro Kicked no, Roxy next. Next, ro kicked rock rolled right past Harris. Instead of paying attention to the ball, he was staring at the swing set. Do you see that? Harris said. Harris asked, point pointing. <laughs> Roxy looked out and Roxy so looked and saw. Roxy looked and saw Zeke balance on a swing on just one finger. His body stood upside down straight as an arrow. She and Harris ran over to him. What the heck are you doing? Asked Harris asked. Zeke, look at him. I can't tell him the tr I can't tell him the truth, Zeke thought. This was uh, this exercise helps mind pro project more clearly. I am planning on trying out for the gymnastics team, Zeke said. I was trying good I was Good at gymnastics in Tragus. Harris had his doubts, but there he could see anything else. He, but before he could say anything else, the bell rang. Recess was over. Harris and Roxy hurried back into the school. That evening after dinner, Harris joined his dad in front of the TV. It was time for the monster movie of the week. Harris and his dad never missed it. This should be a good one, said Harris. Dad... Harris is that it's called Monster Aliens from Planet Z. The movie began. A giant alien spaceship landed right in the middle of a park. People ran in panic. The spaceship's doors slid open. An alien walked out. Only the alien didn't walk on its feet. It walks upside down on its fingertips. Just like Zeke, Harris thought. That's it. That explains everything. My new neighbor is definitely an alien. That's it for chapter and we're doing chapter 5. The next day at school, Zeke felt bored. Well, that didn't take long. He always got he always he thought I always got so worried about starting a new school but in this place everything they do is so simple if I can't be home I wish I were back on Charbok. Charbok was the last planet Zeke's family has researched at least their kids could do cool stuff like teleport from place to place and control the weather with their minds it was a very interesting planet not like earth Zeke thought as he entered the science lab Okay, class, today's experiment is all about colors, said Mrs. said Mr. Will 
Mills, the science teacher, we are going to combine certain colors to create other colors in front of you are red, green, yellow, and blue solutions. Experiment and see how combining the colors change them into new ones. Zeke combined yellow and blue to make green. He, co he combined blue and red to make purple. Then he mixed red and yellow to make orange. He was the first one in the class to finish. Zeke glanced over at Harris and Roxy. They were still combining colors, but Harris was also staring at him. Why did Harris keep staring at me like that, Zeke wondered. Could he actually suspect that I'm up from this planet? As the other kids worked with, his, with the basic color, Zeke got an idea. This should be fun, he thought. He combined all the solutions in one glass beaker with both hands. Then he grabbed the beaker with both hands. He sent vibrations from his hand into the glass and colors inside the beaker started to swirl. A few seconds later, Zeke had created a twirling rainbow right inside his beaker. He glanced toward Roxy and Harris. Roxy saw the rainbow and smiled. Wow, that is so cool! But Harris' eyes opened wide. How did you do that, Zeke? asked Harris. That's impossible! What's it possible, asked Mr. Mills. He walked over to Zeke's table and saw the rainbow spinning in his beaker. Actually, Harris, it is not impossible, said Mr. Mills. There is a chemical you can add to your covers that will make that happen. Harris frowned. Then Mr. Mills turned to Zeke. However, Zeke, that chemical is not kept in a drill labor. Do not open. Mr. Mills explained, I admire you curiosity and inventionness but please do not open any drawers without permission. There are some dangerous things in there. Drawers, without permission. There are some dangerous things in there. Zeke couldn't commit that he didn't use any chemicals. He just used his powers. He stayed quiet. His parents were very clear about revealing his powers to anyone on Earth. Unlike Charbo Charbok, Earth had, has, has not yet made contact with anyone outside of Earth. His father has said on their journey to their new planet, you must never reveal your powers to anyone there. The bell rang, ending science lab. As he left the room, Harris looked at Zeke and shook his head. What if he finds out I'm an alien? Zeke thought I could ruin my parents' entire mission here. Zeke walked past walked from the lab. This is going to be a long school year, I thought. He, he thought. That's it for chapter 6. Oh, we could do chapter... Yeah, we'll do chapter 6 and 7 on the next video, guys. This is almost done. We're almost done. Not even capping.